Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nat Walsh. Today we are going to play with some Stamping Up product. Well, a Stamping Up product. So we've got this piece of cardstock, which is just my, it's actually going to be 13.4 by 9.1. So it's not my normal sort of size that I do my cards. And we've got this Pampered Pets stamp set from Stamping Up and it's got coordinating dies. So I'm just trying to figure out which ones that I really sort of want. We're not going to use the little hearts, you'll see. We're going to keep it relatively simple today. We're going to do a little bit of colouring with some fur. So I hope you like it. So we'll see what happens. Now I've speed this all up now because, you know, it's colouring, it's stamping and... I'm not the fastest stamper actually so I'm just trying to figure out where I want things what I want to do how I want this positioned we're going to go with the landscape version of this and that stamp set that sentiment is not going to stay there but anyway it doesn't matter I'm going to mask these out using post-it notes and we're going to make up some little masks. We're going to trim those all out. So there's a little tiny itty bitty post-it note there. And voila, it's all done. Because you don't want to see me cutting everything out. It's too boring. You all know what it's done. I do, like most people, I do make sure that my scissors move rather than the actual picture. We're stamping this all out in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. We've got some full stick post-it note here. We're going to cut out our little puppy. He's probably not a puppy, but that's what I think. And voila, he's done because I forgot to press the record button when I was putting it on. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. So I've got some Gina K masking paper. So I bought this to have a play. To see what it was like because you always hear so much about it i've got some other and it wasn't quite i'm cutting the wrong end i don't know why i did that but there you go i did it i did find it was a little bit hard with cutting on that edge to get it the backing off and we're going to use this extra piece which is so much easier to get off on that bottom so we've got some weathered wood and bundle stage. This I have not colored use distress inks for quite a while and I found it a little bit grippy. But we're going to work on that and it's going to look on camera a lot more blotchier than it actually is in real life. I've just got a little tiny hole there that I didn't want to get any of the ink on in real life it's not as blotchy as this it's a little bit it's I didn't want it to be full coverage I wanted it to just be fun so the fact that it goes up higher in some areas than others I wasn't too worried about it so it actually looks a lot blotchy, blotchier there than it really is, but we'll see. Anyway, so I'm just cutting the top bit for to do my ground. So it's the negative of what I'd already cut. The masking paper is really quite interesting, actually. I It almost feels very plasticky. I've got some other bits and pieces that I don't. I've got some other um, express it masking stuff that I honestly I don't use very often, which is really, really bad of me, but I tend to go for the post-it tape. And for the bigger bits and pieces, like normally I'd probably do the ground in with this other masking, this roll of masking. It's a big roll. 
I don't know. I'll try and find where it is. If I find the name of it, I'll put it over on my blog. So hop over there and have a look. But it, it's pretty much like, um, almost like contact paper. It's like the clear contact paper. So we've spritzed a little bit of this with some water and I'm actually going to do that twice and then let it sit there for a little while and blot it off with some paper towel. So when we get to take off this, the mask, that's sort of when, now it's all dry. I let it go for a while and came back the next, the next day I think it was. But when you take off all the masks, that's when you like, yeah, that looks really cool. There is a little bit of a gap between some of my, around my dog and around my grass, but I'll show you what we're going to do about that. I'm just testing out, making sure it was dry. I don't really know why, but in case something happened, this is going to be some London fog and we're going to, to emboss this with clear embossing powder. I didn't want a really strong uh, black sort of, you know, sentiment there. So that's why we're going to play with those. So these are a Copics, 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 depending on where you're from and what you started knowing them as. I call them Copics. So I'm being getting teased lately about, by, about that by some friends. But, you know, anyway. So we have E44, E43, 42, 41 and a W1 for our little dog. I started off doing some little bit of fur on him, but in the end, I decided I would add that in at the the end. Like I started, you know, I started doing it and I was like, yeah, nah, let's just whack the color down and then with the darker and a couple of the other colors, give him the hint of a fur. Because the artist, whoever's drawn these, is clearly sort of given it that rough look and here we go with our fur you need to make sure you have very soft little lines i find when i first started doing this i would be too hard and too heavy and it would just not look very good and what i'm going to do is go over it with my lightest color my e41 over the end of it and just soften some of those colors down. We're going to work with, it's a little bit of an unusual combination. I think I haven't used this combination before, but I thought I quite like the E forties. They've sort of got that. I don't know. They're sort of like that gray Brown that I tend to like. So I have done, because his face is a little bit smaller, I have done, started off with a little bit of fur here. And as per usual, I'm probably talking to my friends while doing this. So that's why you tend to see me just, I'm an R about it. So there's not much I can still tell you while I finish coloring that in. It's, if I wait long enough, it will be just be done. So it wouldn't really matter. My son's foot is still not, we're not sure what's happening. We have, I only did this video the day after he had the x-ray. So we don't have the reports in yet. So who knows? Sister-in-laws have diagnosed a broken bone. They reckon they've, they've seen cracks in the x-rays different spots but you know we'll just have to see what happens I don't mean to make this light-hearted or anything but the fact of the matter is that if he's broken it he's broken it and there's nothing much I can do about it you might as well just go with the flow and try and make good out of a situation that is not that great 
So with the sky, I have used B91. With the ground here, I've used a combination of different colors. So we've got our YG67, YG63 and 61. 61 is the one that's going to be the closest to the ground that we've got here. So we're just putting in a little bit of shadows, putting in a little bit of tufts of grass. I was half thinking about putting in a tree. I really wouldn't mind trying to do a bit more scenes. I've had a couple of videos now with some scenes that I've drawn up myself. And maybe they've given me a false sense of security because they turned out quite nicely. I'm not... I'm not a big drawer, so it's going to take practice and that's that's all there really is to it. So with his little nose, it's really quite small, but I'm going to use four colors, C7, C5, C3 and YRO1. So the YRO1 is going to be just his little highlight and then using the C3, I'm going to go over it again and soften some of that YRO1, but it's going to give his nose a little bit of the pinky, pinky grey sort of look, you know. So his collar, the lucky last things that we're going to do really is his collar and his bowl, and they're going to be R89, 46, 24 and 22. And I quite like this combination of red. I find it's got a nice gives a nice deep red so if you want a nice combination write that down and check it out a little bit of winker seller and that's going to be my card i hope you like the video like and subscribe that would be extremely helpful if you like this video it sort of helps youtube sort of recommend it to other people and helps the channel grow so i would be very honored if you did that um i hope you enjoyed There'll be a link over on the to down below to my blog and you'll be able to see more photos and check out bits and pieces of that. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Take care. Bye.